Hi, welcome to SWBox.com. I'm Neil, and today I've got my manager with me, Michael, Hello. the marketing manager. Uh, we're going to have a bit of a debate about a product that we've got for the iPad 3. Now, I know it's not for the iPad 1 or the iPad 2, but it is, it's the right ribbon cable, so at a guess, we believe it's for the iPad 3. Uh, the iPad 1's ribbon cable is completely different. The iPad 2 is similar, okay? Now, what this does is, it's the volume controls, the anti-rotate, and uh, the sleep button, okay? So, that's the that's the product we've got, and it looks like this, okay? Now, it's got all of the functions for this, but it, it just physically doesn't fit on the iPad 2, and it's definitely not for the iPad 1, because that's a completely different configuration. So, I'm going to ask you, Michael, what do you think? iPad 3, or...? I feel like I'm in the hot seat here. Um, okay, my answer is this. I need to tell you a story. I need to contextualize uh, this. Okay. So your question is, is, is that ribbon, is that cable for the iPad 3 uh, a product which obviously is not available, uh, won't be for another month or two, supposedly, right? Um, so my answer is this. Allow me to tell you a story. Mm. Uh, our offices where we work swbox.com is in Shenzhen, China, right next to Hong Kong. And in my opinion, I don't know if you if we share this opinion, is Shenzhen is the global hub of consumer electronics. Yeah. It, it, it's all made here. And when I say here, um, a three minute walk from here. Uh, it's it's in an area of Shenzhen uh, called Watian Bay. And we're talking maybe 10 blocks by 10 blocks, no, no, I'd say maybe 6 by 6 blocks, crammed with Shanghai cell phones, uh, iPhone cases, a lot of knockoff products, uh, consumer electronics. It's all from here. Yeah. And um, the, the thing is though, and, and I'm, I'm getting to your question, the thing is though, a lot of people feel like you can just walk into the markets and get whatever you want, where that's not exactly true. Uh, if you walk into these markets, the suppliers, the manufacturers, the factory owners will just sell you uh, a ton of crap. Yep. Right. Uh, for example, Angry Bird iPhone cases. It's it's everywhere. But of course, Western uh, Western buyers well past Angry Birds. Okay. So why am I saying this? Is that you really have to establish a relationship with suppliers for them to give you their good products. And uh, out there in the interwebs, you'll probably have noticed is that we're the only ones who are claiming that we have an iPad 3 cable as well as the iPhone 5 cable. Yeah. And we also had the BlackBerry Playbook uh, cases in advance of the uh, in advance of the actual product shipping. And I think for the BlackBerry 9900 and the yeah. 9810, we had it in advance. So, um, based on the track record, in every case where we had an advance of a product, it turned out to be the Correct. real thing. Yeah, yeah. Right? Now, I'm getting to his question. The other day, uh, myself and our purchasing manager and one of our biggest suppliers, who we've dealt with what for more than three years now, okay, we were sitting at dinner, and a, a normal supplier dinner means a lot of hot spicy food, endless cigarettes, and then afterwards, karaokeing, which means a lot of toxic alcohol. This, yeah. Is, yeah. this is how business is done, right? So as we're sitting down at dinner, this portly supplier gentleman uh, places those cables on the table, and he says, in Putonghua, in, in Mandarin Chinese, bet you can't guess what these things are. Right? At this point, I've had a, a couple of drinks. I go, hey, I don't know, uh, what are they? Right? I'm, I'm a little bit stuttering. And he says, well, this one, iPhone 5 cable, this one, iPad 3 cable. And 
uh, I nearly spit out my alcohol yeah. and, and partially choke. And the purchasing manager next to me also has a similar reaction. And of course, we go and ask him, how, where on earth, how on earth did you get these things? And yeah, he was very cagey about it. And I, I don't blame him because you don't get to be where they are uh, without knowing some people who know some people or whatever. So there's a lot of guanxi and networking going on there. So um, he said, yep, these are the iPhone 5, iPad 3 cables. And, uh, you know, of course, we wanted more of an assurance. And, but there was really nothing more than, than his word. Do we trust him? Uh, we've, in every case before, he hasn't let us down. But if you ask me quite honestly, I'm somewhat sure. Okay, so percentage sure. I'm pretty sure, and by pretty I mean like Megan Fox in Transformers, pretty sure. Okay, okay, yeah, that, yeah that's fair play. So, potentially, we have got these products. We can't test them and we don't know. I don't want to test them because, you yeah, know, of course, the iPhone 5 launch is probably the most anticipated yeah, event definitely. ever, right? Yeah. And it's such a secret as well, always. Yes, it you is. Know? And that's, that's the, the thing about these products. But, obviously, we've put them on our website. We're not selling them at the moment. We're just letting, know people, letting people know that we've got them. Is that correct? Yes. Pretty yes. much, that's what we do. I mean, uh, both you and I, we spend an inordinate amount of time on the internet. And, you know, all the blogs are talking about it. All the websites are talking about it. But over here in China, it's all the talk as well. Wherever people go out, when we meet with suppliers and uh, talk within the industry, it's about iPhone 5, what's it going to look like? iPad 3, what's it going to look like? Fatter, shorter, thinner, thinner, yeah. whatever, things like bigger screen, smaller screen. Uh, so supposedly October is the launch because I think the middle of this month is when the BlackBerry, I can't remember, I think the BlackBerry had already dropped in Canada, the 9900. I have to go yeah, check with Yeah, it's coming. It is coming, but I don't know exactly when. Okay. Uh, but it'll be coming before the iPhone 5. Yeah. And they were saying iPhone 5 in China. Uh, in China, China Telecom is going to offer the iPhone 5 as well as the simplified new version of the iPhone 4. Yeah. And so shortly, in a month or two, uh, I would like to give you a more definitive answer. And I would love to give you guys up there a more definitive answer as well. And as soon as we find out more, and I'm sure that before the official launch, we will have the actual iPhone 5. I yes. Guess before. I hope so. Right. And, and then take it apart. And <laughs> take it apart. And the Apple Ninja here will make the teardown videos, which he is so uh, good at doing. We look yeah, forward to it. Forward to it. So it's a day by day thing right now. It really is a day by day thing where we're trying to find out as much as we can. Cool. Thanks a lot, Michael. Well, uh, it's on our web page. Please come and have a look.